Who got the win? We got the win. Who got the win? We got the win. Hey guys, Coach here, giving you guys the coaches' news and notes and awards for week two. Obviously, we had a great game this past Tuesday against the Sugar City Sinners. Got the W. And I have to say, honestly, honestly, between you and me, if we can keep this between you and me, it's a lot more fun to win than it is to lose. Call me crazy, but, 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 but I love it because I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here, and I'm thinking, man, who deserves the coach's award for this week? Because obviously, uh, I could name off the entire team uh, to give the coaches, uh, the coaches award to. And I actually did in the previous uh, edition of this. I, I I already recorded it and I listed off everyone that did well and it was eight minutes long. And I know that Val wouldn't appreciate watching this for eight minutes. So I thought, you know what, I got to cut it down. So obviously there's anyone could have gotten it this week because you guys all did great. But there are three people out there that I want to recognize for a coach's award uh, for week two against the Sugar City Centers. First of all, first award goes to... Shannon Parsons. Shannon Parsons, it was your last game. It was your first game, but it was also your last game. We know that you have work, so you had to, so, 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 so you have to leave. Uh, we understand. We're sorry. We don't want that to happen, but we just want to recognize you as a bulldog in our hearts, in our life, and in our eyes forever and ever. Amen. I mean, you got it there. You stepped up. Uh, sure, you stepped on home plate. That's all right because, uh, because we like you anyway, and we got the win. And uh, if we didn't get the win, then we'd probably blame you for something. But we got the win anyway. So it doesn't matter. We didn't need that extra point. In fact, it probably kept things more tense. So we appreciate that, Shannon Parsons, for doing all that you did. You, you hit the ball. You uh, played a pretty good game over there at catcher. And so we'd just like to thank you. Coach's Award goes to you, Shannon Parsons. Congratulations. Number two, my second Coach's Award goes to two gals. We friendly like to call them the right field bashers of distress and nice <laughs> Laura Lee and Joe Warnock. Joe, Laura, you girls did great week two because you got out there. Uh, first of all, solid game in right field and you guys both got hits. Week after week, you girls come out, you work hard, uh, you, you, you do a lot out there. You're, you're, you're working hard, and I appreciate that. And you're good out there, and you guys got the hit, and I'm proud of you. We're proud of you. We are all proud to call you Bulldogs. Congratulations to those three people, Shannon Parsons, Laura Lee, Joe Warnock. Congratulations. Keep on playing hard. And if you're sitting there, and if you're mad at me, and you're throwing stuff at this computer because you didn't get Coach's Award, hey, Bribe me, all right? Just bribe me, and maybe you'll get it later. But right now, I'm giving it to these girls because they deserve it. They've got heart. They're working hard. Congratulations, girls. I love you. Now, obviously, heading into our coaches' notes, obviously, uh, uh, coming off the win, there's some uh, there's some wind at her back, and, uh, and there's obviously a lot of things that we've been doing right. So uh, I just want to remind you about three things to do this upcoming game against PJ615 Hannah Ranch so we can get that W once again. All right, first thing I want you to remember, don't touch home plate. Shannon Parsons, thanks for displaying it for us. We don't want to touch home base because we'll get the out. We don't want the out. Clint, stop yelling at me. I'd rather have the run than get the out. Hey, 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 stop. 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 Don't touch home plate. Number two, uh, second thing I want you to remember is you guys are making great connection with the ball. Awesome job. Awesome job. You, uh, I know we all get up there. We have our bats, and, and, and we get kind of nervous, and we get swing like this. And, 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 and frankly, if we start swinging like that, we'll never get the hit. But you guys were patient, and I believe because we were patient and we were waiting for our pitch, uh, we hit a lot. Uh, we, we we got a lot more hits uh, this past game than we did uh, in our first game. So I say to you, congratulations! Way to wait for your pitch. Way to wait for the uh, wait for the hit that you want. 
So congratulations, guys. Remember, be patient. Hit that ball. Number 30 thing I want you to remember, have fun. We were so encouraging out there, guys. We were having a lot of fun. It was a great spirit out there. Uh, and obviously winning helps, but you guys, you guys were there for each other, and I appreciate that. And that's ultimately what it's about. It's about getting out there and having a lot of fun and having some stories in between. So thank you, guys. Uh, if, if, if we just remember those three things, guys, we're going to have a great game this upcoming Tuesday. Uh, remember, don't touch home plate. Have fun, be encouraging, and keep on keep on hitting that ball. Wait for your pitch, hit the ball. Congratulations. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Much love to you. Bye-bye.